You did better than smoked him, son. Welcome to the backwoods. My playground is out in the woods. Back in the sticks, this is my hood. Waking up early with nature's hand in my Finger on the trigger just to seal the deal. Feel the chill, shoot to kill. It's the thrill, it's the skill, it's the rush, it's the dust grind. Living the backwoods life. I'm a hunter. Thanks to my father, my grandfathers, my uncles, it's something that was put into me at a young age. I can't even imagine my life without that being in it. The Backwoods Life family spends a lot of time every year getting kids in the outdoors, just teaching the skills and traditions of hunting to the next generation. My son Kyler this year is finally old enough to stop being a spectator in the stand and to be a hunter. In the head. In the brain. He did yeah, he's got a good beard on him. Wait, what's that? That's part of his head. See, look at these spurs, man. Oh, yeah. Kind of look right here. See his spurs? <clears throat> this is my favorite part. You ready? Uh -huh. Right here. See how he had that fan out when he come in here strutting? That's cool, the gold. Yeah, got it'll look gold or green. First one ever. And out here shivering. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Kyler. And Kyler is just like yesterday. He's more impressed by the toenails on the gobbler <laughs> than he is a spur. That's a long, sharp spur right there. Made a hair shot too, didn't he? But he told us yesterday when he shot that one that uh, he held that red dot right on his brain. Yeah. And I'm gonna say you did the same thing today, buddy. I think so too. Good job, man. Why you, you being tired? Eh? Are you shy? No. Or are you sad because you realize you shot two turkeys and you can't shoot no more this year? <laughs> <laughs> you turkeyed out. I'm, I'm betting that's why you're a little bit quiet over there. You realize you tagged out, hadn't you? <laughs> you can still go turkey hunting and call them in for me. You just have to watch me shoot them. Well, Kyler's got two turkeys in two days. Now it's off to Georgia for deer season. Maybe that lucky streak will continue. He's ready. He's been practicing at home. Oh, he needs a volunteer. Right, buddy? Just waiting on a deer. Cheeser.
As soon as these does walked out, I asked Kyler, do you want to shoot a doe or would you rather wait on a buck? Well, he said he was perfectly fine shooting a doe and that whole stand went to shaking. Now I've got to get him calmed down and we got to wait on a clear shot on one of these big does. If I can stop shaking, I might actually be able to get a good shot. Just take a deep breath. I don't want you to get That's another doe. Another doe. Another doe. Another doe. Another Shot your first deer, Kyle. But now we have to walk through the woods and find him. Yeah, but we gotta wait, okay? We gotta be patient. No. Hmm. There he is. What? There he is. Oh, dude. I need that track with help. Oh, yeah. You made a good shot. Yeah, good shot. A lot of people, you know, they have to go to the grocery store to get their meat. They don't have Kyler to bring home the meat. <laughs> huh. I'm proud of you, man. That's a good shot. Your first deer ever. Can we mount it? I don't know if we want to mount a doe. How about we try to get the, maybe get the hide tanned or something. What that? Make a blanket out of it. Uh. That's a good job, buddy. Congratulations. Backwoods Life is brought to you by these great companies. Hawk Optics, Lethal Products, Antler King, and Quality Archery Designs. This segment of Backwoods Life is brought to you by Realtree, family, friends, and the outdoors. As hunters, we've got to pass this on to the next generation. Fred Branch has been taking his son Taylor hunting since he was a little guy. Now he's old enough to get out there and try to shoot his first buck. You like him? He's bigger than mama's. He's bigger than your mama's? How are we going to get this out Tell of here? Well, we're going to drag him out, or I'm going to watch you drag him. Well, now it's this season. Taylor's another year older, and he's trying to shoot a bigger buck. Just do. Shot in there. Taylor just laid smack down on him, so uh, we finna get down here in a second, go see uh, see what this deer looks like up close and personal. Put our hands on him. So proud of my little man. <laughs> High five, buddy. 
Two chill. Heck <laughs> yeah. What you think about that there, old deer slayer? <laughs> what you think, buddy? It was big. Heck yeah. Hey, congratulations, buddy. Sometimes. Awesome. See if you and Taylor can drag him out. You get one hey. side. I can't even pick him up. Yeah, you can. There you go. Backwoods Life is also brought to you by Redneck Blinds, Fourth Arrow Camera Arms, Expedition Archery, Hunter Safety System, and Tree Stand Buddy. This segment of Backwoods Life is brought to you by Walls Outdoor Goods, greater than all outdoors. This week it's all about the kids. Us grown-ups are behind the cameras. Now it's up to the kids to get the job done. Jeremy Johnson's taking his son Braxton hunting, and it's a good one. Job. I think he's got seven. Seven. Oh, look at that. Wow. It's the best day ever. That's a good deer. <laughs> that joker hit the ground, too. Straight down. <laughs> so just like we planned it, huh? Yep. <laughs> best day ever. Sweet. Seven points. Yep, that's a big old seven pointer right there. I know, but it tried to be a little point. Right there, didn't it? Hmm? Try to be a point right there. He tried. He, he tried to have one over like this one right here. It's about the same. It would have matched. That would have made an eight point. Yeah, then it would have matched. What you think about that? That's your first rack buck. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna ask him to cut the head off and this off. Mm -hmm. So y'all can do the skull mount. Do like we boil, we'll boil it like we do? Yeah, like the skull mount. Because I like watching That's you pretty do cool. That. I'm glad yeah. you did that. Yeah, but hey. I'm only going to let you do the head. I'm proud of you. You made a perfect nice. shot, too. Thanks. Dropped that joker right in his tracks, didn't he? I know. It was, it was like going like, it went like. Tss, yep. It was going like. Tss, tss. I told you, I said, wait, don't pull the trigger yet. Don't wait until you're ready. And you said, I'm ready. Boom. <laughs> Braxton got it done. Now it's his big sister's turn. So we're out here this weekend. What's today? Sunday? Saturday. Saturday the 8th. Okay. It's Saturday and we're back here at the owl field again because last weekend we were out here and we saw like not huge, but it was like a decent sized buck. And then it just went right along here and it didn't come out. So I'm really hoping that we see that or something bigger. But even if we don't shoot something today, the bright side, I won my basketball game. So. That's just in case we don't shoot something. on his shoulder. Just, just like that. Finally. I'm shaking. Why am I shaking 
wanted to. I can't pull this thing back. It's okay. <laughs> Are you nervous? Yeah. I finally have something to be proud of. I'm happy. Very, very happy. So we got down here and he is a lot bigger than I thought he was. <laughs> From in the stand he looked like he was like three or four point and now we found a six point. So turn his head so I can see the rat. <laughs> like that one. <laughs> it's heavy. Backwoods Life is also brought to you by Wind Scent. Element Outdoors. Spy Point Trail Cameras, and Final Rest. This segment of Backwoods Life is brought to you by Hunt Stand. Download the app today. Ryan and Kathy Whitaker have a lot of experience getting their kids in the outdoors. Right now it's turkey season, and they're out in the stand with Isabella trying to help her tag a turkey in Kentucky. Got Isabella in here this morning. We had birds gobbling all around us. This field always seems to produce some something for us to shoot at least. And this morning, Isabella had three to choose from. First morning youth season here in Kentucky. We just rolled in last night from Florida and Isabella said she wanted to go. Got in here set up in the redneck. Had birds gobbling everywhere. This happened to be one that Isabella's is able to take. Good job, baby. You excited? <laughs> you awake? I think she's still tired. Are you awake? <laughs> no. Still sleeping? Yeah. Isabella did a great job in turkey season. Now Ryan's in a redneck blind with his sons. blind with the intention of shooting a lot of does with a crossbow. A nice buck walks out and that plan changes real fast. You did better than smoked him son. We dropped him in his tracks. <laughs> That one, son. <laughs> Give me five. Biggest buck ever. Heck yeah. That's a good one, boy. 
That's your biggest one yet, for mm -hmm. sure. What do you think about that? I like it. <laughs> I looked through the scope a couple times, seeing the cross arrow shake. And finally, he told me I could shoot, and I shot it. Why is your little nerve? We had to wait for him forever. Yeah. He was standing right towards us. <coughs> Once, almost. Walked back in, and then we got him. Your Kentucky season is over. <laughs> I'm gonna go shoot some does now. Here's this deal. It's like the first hunt I've yeah. ever done. Yeah, your first hunt. You've been here less than... Look at me. You've been here an hour. <laughs> well, it looks like we're doing a great job here at Backwoods Life, passing it down to the next generation. These kids are getting the job done, putting meat in the freezer, and they're learning lessons and making memories that'll last forever. Make it a point to get somebody new into the outdoors this season. Whether it's a kid or a grown-up who's a kid at heart, Pass on the skills and the traditions to someone new. You'll be glad you did. <laughs> what do you think about that, sis? Uh, we love him. You do? And we like to eat this too. You like to eat this? Uh, <laughs> Hear that? What was that? That was owl. That's cool. Those tried to be points too. The owl said, congratulations. <laughs>